welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share any of my videos. If you have any requests, please comment in the comment section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. If you start a program and receive an errors from Windows that is unable to find VCR runtime 140.dll or that it's missing in this case, you can use this guide to help you download the necessary program that is needed to fix this problem. So, with that being said, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a missing or unable to find VC runtime 140.dll. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is install or you can say download the Visual C++ 2015 distributable, distributable package so first thing we're going to do is click on our internet browser and from here we're going to type in https www.microsoft.com dash en dash us Then we're going to do dash downloads or download dash details dot ASPX question mark ID equals five two six eight five. And that's it. Uh, don't worry about you can either just follow along like how I did it or you can just copy and paste that. I'll put it in put it in the description below. You can also go through the Microsoft official website if you want. Um, whatever you're most comfortable on doing. Okay, so after we click clicked enter, we're gonna say no thanks. This is the download. So Microsoft Visual C 2015 redistributable redistributable update 3 RC okay so here's a bunch of details which one we want or which ones are available what are the system requirements and then install instructions you can you guys can read that on your own if you want but I'm just gonna skip to the downloading part so here we will select whatever language is yours, Turkish, Polish, German, French. I'm English, so I'll leave it at that. And then you wanna left click on download. And then from here, I have a 64. So we will click that one. Click next. And then it should come up. Make sure that it is an exe file that is being saved. If it's not, then it will not work. Click save. And then you'll see if you use Google Chrome, it will be at the bottom. Or you can go to wherever you saved it. I saved it on my desktop. So I have it right here. So I'll double click that. And then here are the terms and conditions. You guys can read it if you want on your own time, but for demonstrations, I will agree. And then I will click install. Oh, okay, perfect. So if this happens, 
then I already have it installed on my computer. If that happens, then you can go to, sorry, I went a little bit too fast. You can go to the type here, add or remove programs. And you can scroll down and try to find it. 2015, here it is. So if it's not working, you can go to this section that I said, and then you can left click on modify. And then this is if it's installed, and then you can left click on repair and see if that will fix your problem. But for demonstrations, we're going to uninstall it real quick. Because sometimes I know the virtual C++ software can sometimes be buggy and not work properly. So that's a good thing. If you can go to modify and then repair it by itself. And normally that will fix the problem if you already have it downloaded. It's right now uninstalling. Okay, perfect. So that's one. Install it. It's going to uninstall both really quickly. Okay, so it uninstalled, and you'll see that it disappeared already. So we can just minimize that, go back to the, sorry, desktop here, and we can double click that. And here are the terms and conditions again, and we can agree and install. And now you can see that it's installing how it's supposed to be. This may take a minute or two. Go to the bathroom, go take your dog out for a bathroom break, or just do whatever you gotta do, and by the time you get back, it should finish. Usually doesn't take too long. And there you go, successfully set up. We can close that, and then we can go back to the add or remove programs just to make sure that it's there. Oh, and it just refresh, and there it is. And I will say this again if you have it, you can check this, you can check if you have this before you start downloading the C 2015. And if you do have it and you have the error come up, then just left click on modify and then you can click on repair. And then repair should take care of the issue that you are having. I'll just let this run really quick. May come up as an error. No. There you go. And then you say set up successful, close it, and you're good to go. There are cases where you may have to reset it, reset your computer anyway, and but those are some very rare occasions. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys have any requests or having any troubles, feel free to comment or you can even email me and like always on how to tech tips keep teching on